We're live. What's up? I need to get the pop out chat going. What I need to do. Make sure we're live. Let me look. Let me look. Let me look. Am I live? Or is this Memorex? Oh, there I am. This is Booyah. It's been a hot minute. Been a hot minute since we've done one here. I've got stuff scattered everywhere. Let's see who all pops in. We'll get this thing going. Rob, what's up, buddy? You're the first one. First one. Got a like a disaster area going on up here. Got stuff everywhere. Don't know what I'm doing. Trying to get these little stupid little things off. Rob, you doing okay? Man, I tell you what, they just did not want you to get into these things. Hey, John. What's up, Ren? Going to the theater to see Doctor Strange. Awesome. I honestly don't know when I will ever go back to the theater. I really don't know. What's up, Blair? Spider fan? Trying to get all these little doohickeys out of here. And um, I'm failing. I'm failing miserably. How many of these little micro doohickeys can you have? Well, when you buy a little micro, <laughs> you get a bunch of them. <laughs> So, yeah. Net. Get some popcorn, blue icing. Hey, there you go. Can't go wrong with popcorn and a blue icing. <laughs> Can't pull. What's up, hey, buddy? Yeah, I was going to, um, so Jared's coming back from Disney. Matthias is in, he's out of town again. And uh, my my knees are shot. So I just said, you know what? Uh, I was doing my toy hunt this morning in one county right now. Shot. Universal. So, yeah, telling you, take care. Of, if, you're, if you're young, take care of your body. That crap will haunt you down the road. Just saying. Speaking from experience. Good morning. Well, I do have this. No, I was actually, I wasn't at the hospital. I was at the VA clinic um, for my uh, um, uh, it's not what do you call it when it's every three months? It's not, I know what bi-weekly, bi-monthly, quarter. I was, uh, I was there for my quarterly um, mental health wellness evaluation. So, so yeah, that's what I was there for. You uh, get uh, some nice little you know questions asked to you, and you know, depending on how you answer them, depends on what you do next. Uh, so yeah, super nice uh, folks there, but you know, uh, you guys know me. I've been pretty transparent. I've 
you know, had, I've struggled a lot over the last couple of years. And so, uh, yeah, that's what I was doing. Ooh, Sergeant Slaughter. Yeah, so a little bit of, so Kent pulls here, so I'm going to have to do this. Um, <laughs> good one, Kent. So if you guys watched any of my videos, you know Kent Pool hooked me up with a couple of Mythic Legion figures. And gosh darn him, I actually ordered one. This this week. <laughs> oh dang it, Kent Bull! <laughs> he said to, I showed him a pig or I showed him a, not what it was, but he said uh, he said I ordered a good one. So, and and to be honest with you, so like the ones he got me are really really cool. Uh, really, I, I dig the skeletons; they're very cool, uh, and the Crusaders, but. Uh, Right, Jeanette? I don't think, honestly, I think I can safely say I'm not going to go crazy down that rabbit hole. Uh, but I didn't learn something while Kent was here um, last week that, and even Big Dub was talking about it, that, you know, people talk about how the Mythic Legions are expensive, and, and they are. You know, they're, they're pretty pricey. But if you pre-order them, they're actually not bad. Just say it. It's the aftermarket. Aftermarket. But I will be doing a review on the uh, my first Mythic Legions uh, that Kent Pool got me. So yeah, we're doing that. We're doing it. We gotta move him. Thanks, Edwin. I appreciate that. You know, I mean, it, it's toys should be one of those things that makes us happy. Ren, more power on those uh, on those cards. I'm I uh, uh mm -mm. I picked up I picked up a box of W or not W uh, UFC cards today, and they were like I don't know thirty five bucks I think. Um, yeah, I'm I'm definitely not gonna go down that rabbit hole. Nice, John. Totally respect the cards, but no. No. <laughs> no. Ain't happening. I can't. I just can't do it. There's too, I mean, there's too many. Too many rabbit holes. Too many. I'm also, um, I'm also going to be working on a new foam project, if that's what this is. So, uh, I haven't done anything with uh, foam in a long time. And I was watching um, SK Props and I thought, you know what? That'd be a cool thing to build. So, I printed out the pattern. And uh, I'm going to start this t probably today. So I figured since I'm going to try to take it easy today, you know, try to recoup. The, the UFC cards look good. I mean, I like them. I'm a big UFC fan anyway, but uh, I just... Uh, just can't do it. Can't. I have to draw the line somewhere. So uh, yeah, one day I'm. One day I may have to get a box. I see. I thought about doing the box thing today. I was thinking about it because that thing that me and Matias did, where we opened up the, the thing. Uh, the 3D printer. I'm gonna work on that today. Get it fixed. Get it all back together. Um, it's good. I mean, it's uh, it had a it had a pretty extensive uh, meltdown. 
Um, not going to lie, that was probably the worst that I've experienced. Good morning. I was shocked when I saw it, when I started seeing the belts hanging, and I was just like, oh. But I got it all cleaned up, got all the uh, melted uh, half a pound of filament cleaned up out of it. So uh, I'm going to go down there, uh, probably after this. Um, <laughs> uh I'm going to uh, sit down and get it all squared away and get it back up and going. And, uh, yeah, it's part of it. People think, you know, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not here to bust bubbles. I'm not. But people think that you can just buy it and you're rocking and rolling. And, unfortunately, you're not. Uh, matter of fact, uh, my other two printers, I spent about two hours last night getting them re-leveled and everything. And, you know, it's just, it's part of it. Hey, Jeff. Oh, yeah, the tank. I do have, I do have a surprise that I'm looking forward to sharing when it gets here. But I actually ordered... I ordered two things for the tank. Oh, yeah. I have not watched Doctor Strange. Uh, to be honest with you, I will probably watch it when it's uh, available for me to either stream it or purchase it and watch it at home. To be honest with you. Like I said earlier, I just, I really have no desire to go to a movie theater. I, I can't explain it. Um, I just, I don't know why. I'm, you know, like I said earlier, man, I, I'm, I'm, I got some issues, and I'm working through them, and slowly things are getting better. But um, yeah, it is what it is. The first step is to identify you have a problem. <laughs> Don't be in denial. Yeah, the, the flipping tank. Dude and doodads. Wow. It's still down there on the table. <laughs> I've, I've not moved it off the table because I'm just enjoying it. Um, that's another thing I'm going to do today, too, is I'm actually going to take that original battery and see if it actually will hold a charge because that would be even cooler. But yeah, that tank is insane. Holy wowzers. Crazy. Um, and honestly, I mean, like I said, Kent seen it in person. Uh, and when you put a hot toy next to it. That's when you that's when you really understand what you got. And there was somebody made a comment that I totally agree with, because I've been preaching it forever, is the fact that there's not enough 12 scale vehicles. 18th scale, we got got it covered. But um, I really wish they was more 12 scale. And it don't even have to be a bunch of them. I mean, I think a lot of us would be happy. Um, <laughs> I'll get to that. Um, so uh, I think a lot of us, even with 12 scale, like G.I. Joe's or anything like that, would be happy with just one vehicle. All right, so... Kent brought up a point there. Did Dorkside say sorry? Uh, no. So me and Kent, we had every intentions in the world of going to Dorkside Toys uh, after ICCC. And we never found it. Um, we did find the offices. There's, there's, two, there's two addresses. 
There's an address on Facebook and there's an address on the website. The address on Facebook, if you go there, it takes you to Best Buy. Like, like literally in the road in front of Best Buy. If you go to the address on the website, it takes you over to like an industrial park area to a Suite E, which I did go up and look and there's actually a dork side sign up there. Well, come to find out, they're actually in the plaza where the Best Buy was but it's so weirdly laid out. We never saw it. And then I saw on social media, they finally just got their, they got their sign up for the store. So they didn't even have a sign up. So we never found it. And I was, you can ask Ken. I was pretty bummed out. I was pretty bummed out because I wanted to go. Drive in. Ooh, drivers are fun. So, uh, yeah. I really, so I'm going to have to, now that I know that there's a sign, they did, I didn't message them, but it took, we were almost already back home by the time I got a message back. Oh, and also, you need a phone number. Stores need phone numbers. Just saying. Um, because if that had a phone number, I could have got them on the phone and said, hey, I'm here, but where are you at? You know? They was money that would have been spent. But they do have a sign now. I do have a better understanding of where they're at. I'd still want to go up there and check out the store. But, uh, yeah. Kent knows how much I wanted to go. Because it's, a, it's, about a, it's, it's about an hour and a half drive to, to go up there. So it's one of those things where, you know, it's like going down to second chance. You know, you sort of got to plan your trip a little bit. Oh, man. About that pop. They're like Rice Krispies right now. Sorry if I'm not paying too much attention, but uh, when I'm trying to cut a straight line, I definitely don't need to be talking. These are long straight lines. Yes. Joey, you're in Cleveland? I'm in Cleveland. What? We might have to, Joey, if you're here in town, we might have to we might have to meet up. This would be so much quicker with uh, an X-Acto knife, but uh, yeah. It is a small world. Yeah. It's awesome, dude. DM me sometime. Ooh, almost messed that one up. I mean, we got, how many people we got in here? Where's my little thingy at? I know this is exciting watching me cut uh, cardstock. <laughs> but I might as well do it while I'm here, right? Yeah, fortunately, this particular thing is going to all be the same size foam, which I'm happy for. So it should be a relatively simplistic build. Not too complicated. I got to see if I've got a piece of PVC pipe downstairs. I also got to see if I got some glue. Ooh, I actually going to talk about the latest one that uh, my buddy Doug picked up for me. I actually put it together yesterday during lunch. So I was going to show you guys what it looked like. I know what you meant, the max. So in case you're wondering, this is what I'm building right here. The right hand of doom. Doom. I 
that's what I'm building. SKS Props, awesome channel. Check him out. Free patterns. There's there's what I'm building right there. Boom. Um, so yeah, I've got some I got some foam down there. Terry, what's up? How dare you refer to me as a dork? But thank you, sir. <laughs> Appreciate that. I'll take it as a compliment. Because that's what it is. It's a compliment. Um, what's going to be funny is Kim's going to be downstairs. She's downstairs and she's probably going to be looking for these scissors. Hopefully I don't forget to take them back downstairs with me. You'd be surprised how much stuff winds up here on this table. And she'll text me and she'll goes, Hey, have you seen so and so? I'm like, uh yeah. I think it's up on the table. Uh you talking about the uh, from the new Batman movie, that Batmobile? Yeah, that was a good build. Don't get me started on that movie. I actually was uh I was eating at our uh, my brother and sister-in-law's restaurant last night and my sister-in-law came in and we actually started talking about movies and I gave her a whole new perspective on the Batman movie because, you know, she she likes movies and stuff and she asked me what I thought about it and I said, oh, you talking about the Batman Saw Mad Max movie? And she just sort of looked at me and I, and she, I saw it just it clicked and she's like, Oh, yeah. <laughs> All the Riddler's little things, they were like from Saul, and the Batmobile reminds me of Mad Max. Just saying. The Mel, Mel Gibson's uh, car. So, Batman, Saul, Mad Max. Ooh. I have never been to St. Louis, Terry. I've never been there. I could see that happening one day, though. I mean, come on. Been a hot minute since I saw Terry. Man. Patterning. Patterning. Patterning is interesting just saying ooh convention so speaking of conventions ICCC ICCC um it was fun got to hang out with some peeps some buddies you know uh you know of course Kent Pool Brian Seth, OG, Josh, Cody, um, David. So, yeah, it was fun. It was, um, there wasn't as much toys there, which was a little disappointing. What's up, Harold? Um, lots of cosplay, which I did enjoy because I actually got to talk with a, uh, a person, that gentleman, actually, he, he watches my channel. And he's actually uh, a Death Watch cosplayer, so me and him talked a lot. He did confirm uh, some stuff for me. So that was a very good highlight to the trip. Um, but the prices were a little crazy. I've never seen three and three-quarter Star Wars figures that were four figures in that abundance. Um not saying they're not worth it. It's just, man, I saw one that was like seven grand, and I'm like, wow. That's pricey. And then the big average of us, you know, 250 and above. I mean, lots of them that were 500 above. I'm just like, wow. But. Also, I've never seen so many that were from the 70s and early 80s either. So that was really cool to see. 
but yeah, they was uh, they was some they was some decent deals, but you know, it was a lot of a lot of stuff that I personally couldn't justify. So here's another thing too. I don't know if you can, you can see it or not, but you see that. Yeah, that right there. Yeah, that's from 3D printing. That's a that's a flipping blister. <laughs> yeah, when I was cleaning out that just massive explosion, I had to heat everything back up. So I had to heat it up to about 240 degrees. So I'm getting all that plastic and everything, trying to get it to let loose from the nozzle, and there's a big glob of it just landed right there on my finger. Yeah, that made me whistle. <laughs> that made me whistle. Just say. Um, in case you're wondering, right here is you. Right there is the pop up chat. Just in case you was wondering. Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go see if I've got any glue. Like I said, it's been so long since I've done anything foam. I gotta check my 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 glue and my plasti dip. Is this like watching grass grow? What'd you do today? I watched Greg cut paper. That's what I did. I watched Greg cut paper. Cut paper. If you ever decide to get into patterning, patterning, especially like foam or anything like that, go to Walmart and buy cardstock. That's what this is. This is cardstock. You don't want to use regular paper. Card stock is exactly what it sounds like. It is card material. It's actually pretty thick, but it'll go through a printer really easy, and it makes it easier to do your patterns. And it's also good for doing uh, mock-ups. So, uh, yeah, card stock. See? Microphones right there. Um, uh, weather in the tank, I'm, I'm going to look at. There was actually a really good comment about that. Uh, basically, it just needs a little bit of dry brushing. That's all it's going to need. Um, the VA was good yesterday. Like I told some folks earlier, I went there for my quarterly uh, mental health evaluation. That's part of my process that I'm going through right now with my therapy. They evaluate me. We did move it out, so I'm not every three months now. I'm every six months, which is good because I answered all the questions good. I was a good boy. I didn't get a sucker, though. Just saying. Oh, Peter, thank you. I'd love, I need to, I'd love to go back to Canada. I want to go back to PEI. I loved PEI. That's the one place in Canada I would always recommend. PEI is just a, it's a nice island. A lot of cool stuff there. It's just, I don't know. It's really rustic. The fishing villages are awesome. So, uh, if I had to pick one place, no offense, Peter, I don't know where you're from, but if I had to pick one place to recommend to go, I would personally recommend PEI. Just say, Nova Scotia. I want to go there too. Because I want to go to Oak Island. That's right. I said it, Oak Island. I'm a huge fan of that. Me and my wife, we watch it religiously. So, uh, yeah. There's all places I want to go. I want to go, I want to, go to Greenland, um, Nova Scotia, St. Louis. 
Hey, we're getting close. We're getting close to the end here. Man, tell you what, though, the scissors is killing that blister. Killing it. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. It's it's a beautiful, beautiful. Uh, we went there for a week because um, Kim's mom's family's from there, and we rented a car. And every single day, um, me and her got up in the morning and we drove until that evening. Um, I basically went all over the island while I was there. What's up? Brewster from the UK. Welcome. And I actually photographed a, a huge portion of it and actually created a coffee table book about Prince Edward Island. Had one of them, and I actually did it for my mother-in-law. Um, had one uh, book made and uh, gave it to her, and she just fell in love with it. But it's full of my photos from the island. Ooh. So in case you're wondering, fingers. Fingers. Ah, Kate Britton. Kate Britton? Well, you asked me my thoughts, and my first thought is, huh? So let me bring up the old Google. Oh, you talking about Kate Britton Island? I've never been. But it's in Nova Scotia. I'd love to visit. I, I mean, see, that's the thing. That's the thing with me. I like going to. I love to travel. I just love to travel my way. <laughs> and what I mean by that is, I, I mean, I'm not. A, again, I'm not a big fan of traveling right now. And again, it's just you know with everything that went on, um, and all the that crap crazy people that seem to be flying nowadays. Um, I just don't want to deal with it, to tell you the truth. I don't know what, what is going on with folks. Uh, where was the one of the tunnel? I actually took that on the way to work. Uh, every once in a while, I'll go that way to work just to break things up a little bit, and I, I love that tunnel. So uh, I go to work early enough where I can just stop right in the middle of the tunnel, and I always have a camera with me because if you're a photographer, you always have to have a camera with you. Um, and it, yes, I do mean an iPhone as well because that's a camera. Um, so I just got out my M50 and voila and. I took a few pictures of the tunnel before. That one, I was just in that type of mood that morning. You know, it just, I don't know, it just sort of struck me. Um, circles are so much fun to cut out. Of course, it'd probably be better if I had my flipping glasses on. Oh, somebody just chatted something. I saw it move out of my peripherals. Oh, man. Hmm. The, the scissors are actually digging in to the, to the uh, blister right there. Oh, man. Oh. Uh. East Ridge, Doug. East Ridge. All right. One more circle. One more circle. All right, I'm gonna blow through this one. We're gonna we're gonna get through this one quick. Here we go. We're going. We're going. This is a speed circle. Well, I said it's speed. I don't know what kind of speed. Um and then we'll talk about some stuff because there's something that I watched last night that I want to talk about. Uh, 
Ó. Oh. Yeah, I figured I would uh try to knock this thing out. Oh, yes. And then finally a square. A square. Just a square. Can you spare a square? Just one square. Who knows what that reference is from? I just need a square. One square. Can you spare a square? The pattern has been cut. Mm. All right, so there's another thing I wanted to dress to dress. All right, let me show you this real quick. So Doug hooked me up with this bad boy. So yesterday at lunch, I, uh, I put it together. So I uh, thought I'd just show it off today. All right. I had to, uh, let me, let me get him all back. I had to sort of fold him up to get him to go back in the box or get them to go back in the box. So this is the Spider-Man Green Goblin mech set right here. I love these mechs. These mechs are so cool. Uh, Spider-Man is a little interesting because his forearm is crazy long, which is, which is weird. But uh, there's Spidey right there. Oh, got the little Spidey mini pig right there. Voila. But yeah, these little mech sets, these are so much fun to uh, to mess with. Uh, I like the I like the feet on this one because he's got like these crazy toes. Those are cool. What's up, Seth? And then we got the Green Goblin, which I have uh, I have some mixed feelings about the uh, the Green Goblin. Um. First and foremost, I really dig the hands, the claws, very cool. But yeah, there he is. He's got his uh, two little shooters up on the shoulder, which, eh. um, but yeah, it's a it's a cool, cool minifig. He's got a little bit more. He's got actually got a lot more articulation in the arms. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the skinny feet. Uh, I actually sort of like the the bigger feet. Me personally, I think it looks a little better, but uh, it's got his little back here, and there's the gray goblin. So, yeah, these are just fun little lunchtime, uh, little, little fun little lunchtime builds. So, I need to, I'll be taking some photos of this, these two little bad boys. Love mess around. Like I said, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the the, the weapons up here. Um, I wish I could have. I wish you. I, I wish you had options. I wish you had an option. And again, I know this is designed for a kid, but for me, um, I'd prefer just having the the little shooters off and having a solid piece of purple right there. That's for me. But I really dig these these hands. They're really cool. Let me look at that. Oh. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Got the Max. Got the Max. And also, this was brought up a uh, little while ago because uh, someone sent me another Captain Rex car. And I was asked what the total count was, and I had forgotten 
what the total count was. So, here's the box. Along with uh, the little Captain Rex centerpiece that I'm going to try to incorporate. So, let's see. What's the count? And I think I still got one or, I think I got one or two downstairs. So, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I have fourteen up here. Fourteen of them. And I do remember the goal was 21 Rex cars in 2021. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 14, 15, or 16 that I have, and I'm going to try to lay them out to create my little artwork piece, which will be like this. So I'm going to try to get them to where they're, you know, like so. And some kind of a frame. And I want to put Captain Rex figure in the center. I want to put this like in the center. And then, I don't know. I'm going to try to figure it out. But, but yeah, there we go. There's my Captain Rex cars that I have. And my Captain Rex figure. The figure. Booyah. I also got something else I'm gonna show you. This is new. I even I haven't even posted this on social media yet. So you have to bear with me. But I will need one of these dudes. Yes. Let me get him on his blaster again. I need that dude. I need that dude. Oh, looky here. Ooh. I'm trying to be covert because uh, you guys can you can see what I'm doing. So I'm trying to be covert. I've got the Miles Morales too. That's a that's a good figure. That's a good match. You know it's hard to be sneaky. It really is. Especially when you're trying to put something together. Come on. Don't laugh at me. Oh, there we go. We're getting close. Oh, yeah. All right. So, you guys know I've been working on something. I've got a, I've got a, got things worked out where I can start selling display stands and this and that. But there's one thing that I fell in love with. It's these bad boys. Ooh, check it out. Boom! Not only can you display the figure, but you can display the box. Because all of these figures, they have this, the, these, the new box art has these really cool things. So you got the art, then you got the name of the figure. So, look you there. Boom! How sick is that? That is sick. What a cool way to uh, display. It does have a head scope. Is it a blank head scope? I've not looked yet. I found them, but uh, I haven't put them up yet. Blue sniffer. I'm, uh, I'm. That's something I'm gonna do this weekend. I've been. I printed out a test run. Uh, so I'm gonna get everything put together. Talk to Ken about it. I'm probably going to do uh, just a couple of these just to get a feel for it. Uh, but if you have a figure, now here's the thing. Yeah, Kent didn't even, Kent didn't even see this. So, boom. Um, I don't necessarily think this would be a 
everything. But if you had a particular figure that you liked um, or a series of figures and you wanted to keep the box with it, uh, the box actually uh, the box slides in like that. So, uh, yeah. But I love the fact that these boxes are have this just nice piece of, you know, art. And then you can actually take the figure and boom. So if you have a, like a bookshelf and um, things like that, um, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know, if it's not like I would not have, like I've got four or so, three or four of these, uh, these boss figures. I wouldn't put all of them, but what I have considered is like, say the bad batch, this would be a really cool. If you wanted to display the bad batch, or if you wanted to do just a cup, like Ahsoka and a couple of the, uh, her clone troopers or Luke and Leia. I mean, it's, it would be really, really cool. Um, yeah, it lines up every time. It's, now, these are specifically designed. I have not tested with Legends or anything like that. These are, the, these are for Star Wars. So, but yeah, boom. And the fact that you get the, the name and then you get this color. So, uh, yeah. And this is the Game and Greats right there. Boom. But, uh, and it is, I need, I'm going to test it because the way this thing uh, appears, I don't think I've got another... I'm not tried it with any other black series boxes, but most of those boxes are pretty plain. The newer boxes uh, have the art, and that's the whole purpose is you can do the art. So, but uh, yeah. So I've, I've printed out a couple of them. Like I said, I'm going to throw them up um, on my Etsy store just to see if there's an interest. Uh, no, 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 no. These actually, so I'm, I've uh, basically. Uh, paid for the licensing rights from uh, Lance Peter Luke. Uh, this is from his his thing. So I actually uh, paid him for the ability to actually uh, do this. So no, I did not design this. I have admired this forever. But uh, yeah, there you go. Ooh. And what's weird is it almost looks good without a figure. Just saying. It almost looks good without a figure. And then I had some questions pertaining to these these stands here. And yes, you can use them without the uh, without the uh, little leg thingy. But I include these with the stand. But you can, yes or no. You can use them with or without. If you're clumsy like me, um, I use them. Yes, I know there's black over the foot. I don't care. Christina, what's up? Uh, where I have found that this comes in really handy, so I took one of the bosses and I took one of the new uh, uh, stormtroopers and I took the backpack off of one of those and put it on this because I wanted to be different and it made it really back heavy. So, uh, yeah. Ta -da! There you go. Three figures with and without completely up to you. So basically what I'm, what I'm going to do, uh, when I put these up on my Etsy store, or you can you can DM me if you're interested. So they'll be basically in a nutshell. Uh, right now you get two of these uh, and six of these. That'll let you do three figures or six figures. And uh, yeah, then I'm also going to be offering these as a in, as a separate option. I wonder something. I wonder something. Let's test something. I've not tested it yet. I've not tested this yet. To, Cal to California? 
Wait a minute. I'm sorry. Is that oh, Canada? Is that Canada? Um, I haven't. I got to look. Marvel Legend. Yes, ma'am. I'm getting a visitor. Hello. You want to say hi? That's Kim, everybody. That's my wife. There she is, right there. <laughs> All right, sweetie. I love you. So there you go. Marvel Legends. Boom. Oh, yeah, yeah. I gave Kent some to uh, beta test for me. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Not just DC. Not just Star Wars. What else do I have up here? Ooh, I have this thing that I can never get to stand up right because he has tiny little feet. This is a little custom that I did, and he has itty bitty feet. Let's see. I'm trying to remember what this, I can't even remember what this is from. Boom. There it is. <laughs> so, yes, you can use these for anything pretty much I think you want to use them with. I'll see if I... Oh, I know something else I've got. Damn. We're, we're putting them through the paces. I know, I know this one. I doubt this will work. Because these guys have some big old weird feet. <laughs> oh... Um, no, it won't fit a predator, but Dutch will work. Boom. <laughs> so no predators, but their feet won't fit in there. So yeah, there you go. I'm telling you this, I am displaying everything with these things now. I am totally hooked. And, and you can ask Kent, when, when Kent was here, I don't even know how many I had on that table where the tank is, but that, that table was full. Kent left with, I don't, I don't even know how many he left with because he actually took um, some of I'm my... Sure Um, he took some of the ones that I, I didn't, I didn't, they didn't pass my quality control. I didn't like them, but he's like, I'll take them. I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, you're right. I could, you could do these on clear. I could, I could print these on clear, but to be honest with you, here's the beauty of these. And, and I've actually done this. All the ones that are behind me downstairs are painted. Like they, I printed them white and I painted them. So I print them black just because it's a very neutral color. Um, oh, did the mythic, did the legions work on them? Sweet. Um, I know Joe's, Joe's will fit on them. Um, but I wanted to go with the, the black just because it's just a good neutral color. If you have figures with lots of color in them, it just makes the figure stand out more. Uh, in other words, it takes away... It draws your eye to the figure and not to the base, but uh, you could very easily paint them yourself. Any color you wanted, you could paint. I've got some of these that I've painted uh, gray. Uh, I'm thinking about doing some paint work to go with my Bad Batch figures. So, uh, yeah. Follow me. Uh, just check out my Etsy store. It's in the description of all my videos. Like I said, uh, you can DM me. Um, and, and stuff like that. It is a uh, it take, takes a little bit. It's a Greg Cook. I think. Hang on, man. I'll find it. I'll find it. I'll find it. Um. Where are you tonight? Why did you leave me here?
here all alone. I searched the world over and thought what I found true love. You met another and you were gone. Name that show. Name that show that that song was on. Name it. I want to see. Um, boom! Universal key, hee haw, right there, boom. That's the thing. You could take these, and you can customize them however you want to. Like, like I said, if you wanted to use for a um, uh, paint them, whatever. But check this out. Check this out. You brought up rock and roll. Right there. They're not just for action figures. You can use them for Funko Pops right there. Booyah. <laughs> and to be perfect honest with you, they actually are pretty good with Funko Pops. Just saying. Just saying. Oh, hee-haw. Do they stack? Well, that's the thing, though. So this is a one, two, and three inch, uh, which I found to be a pretty good neutral um, size. I have the ability to do four inch, five inch, and six inch tall. So you could actually go from one inch to six inch so, I've not done any of the four, five, and six inches. Oh, a rock stone effect base. Uh, actually, if you uh, look at Kent Pool, uh, he actually, um, I gave him one of those that I've done for him for his Mythic Legions that uh, I'm going to do some printing on. Really? I'm starting to think my uh, I think my batteries in my keyboard are dead. What? <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, there I am. There I am. Oh, uh, I took some. Uh, I'm gonna be taking. I took some photos uh, yesterday. I'm gonna take some more today. I'm gonna go through what I have. I'm gonna get them all uh, paired up and get them boxed up and ready. That way, people don't have to wait on me. And as soon as that's done, I'll be throwing them up on my Etsy store. I do have a Boba Fett throne that's up there. Just saying, if you're looking for a Fett throne, just saying. Um, but yeah, that's my Etsy store. Like I said, all that's in my description of my videos. But uh, yeah, keep your eye out. They're coming. They're coming. I'm 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 weird. What's up from Liverpool, Graham? Uh, I don't like rushing things. Um, this is all sort of new to me anyway, because I don't know. I'm my own worst critic. <laughs> I'm my own worst critic. And I have, I, I do a lot of self doubting. Um, so yeah. Um, sorry. I'm looking through. Looking through all of that. Done. Delete. Delete. Um, that actually um, would be really cool. Uh, the problem with that would be trying to find a mirror. But, but, if you actually took one of these as a pattern, because this is slightly smaller than this so it's got a little bit of play 
you took this and actually use it as a pattern on some uh, aluminum foil tape, which you can buy, uh, they use it for air conditioning units. You can see it when they put things together. And if you cut some of those out and actually just stuck it inside and just trimmed it, oh, that'd be perfect. Uh, what I use to edit my YouTube videos, I use Final Cut Pro. I'm a Mac guy. I'm a Mac guy. That's what I use. But yeah, that's that's actually a good idea, Brewster. That's actually a really good idea. It would look good. It would look because I mean it's it's a mirror effect. Geek Strong's in the house. I'm looking for, um, I got to try something again today, and, well, see, that's the beauty of it, like, like this right here, you could take that tape, and you could actually tape, because these are all right angles, so you could actually, you could go all the way around it with that tape, boom, boom, boom. So you could turn this whole thing into a mirror if you wanted to. Whole thing. Um, I'm trying to find. So I had a little bit of a foo pa pa, and I'm trying to fix it. And I think the foo pa pa was. Um, I think it was me. I think it was my. It was when I was printing something, um, and I think it was the fact that I didn't seal my printer, my my filament. So uh, yeah, I think I made a boo boo. It wouldn't be hard to do. Seriously, it wouldn't. I mean, it'd be no different than just putting tape because it's tape. Now, the difficult part would be um, you'd have to be patient, and I'm afraid that maybe some of these print lines may come through. So what I would probably do if it was me, if I wanted to have it a really, really clean, mirrored finish, I would probably put tape over it first, like some painter's tape, and then put the aluminum foil tape on that. That's probably what I would do. Just say it. I want to check something. I want to check something. What? No, I don't want that. Nope, I didn't want that. You too, buddy. Yeah, the it's endless. It's 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 straight up endless. That's the thing. There it is. Download. Download this file. Exactly. Yeah. Like I said, if you, let's say for instance, you were, um, and, and again, that's why I, that's the reason why I do them in black because number one, it gives you a good base color wrestling. You could, you could do like if you had some AEW stickers or, you know, you, whatever. I mean, it's literally whatever you want it to be, whatever you want it to be. Um, that there it is I'm going to try something I don't know if it'll work but I want to try something I want to try something since you guys are hanging out with me here you guys want to uh yeah, what's up, Charlie? How many people we got in here? I'm gonna like my own video.
Okay. Oh, that would be cool. The Three Stooges. That would be so cool. Um, let's see here. I'm going to try something. Let's see. This is uh this is gonna be weird. I'm gonna see if uh yeah, you guys can see that. Nice. Alright, so I was going to show you guys a little bit of my process here. If you guys want to see it. Okay, so here is my uh, my printer. Oh, yes, I have. Look, my printer is doing a, doing a dance. So this is the software that I use to uh, do my printer stuff right there. So that is a representation of my printer. So let's go in here. This is a, a new helmet that I'm thinking about doing. And I figured I'd show you guys some stuff. Ooh. Look at the helmet. Ooh. All right, so this particular helmet, can you name, can you name this helmet based on this? I know it's a little hard to see, but I'm going to give you guys for 3D printing. All right, so. And again, if you're not interested in this, I, I apologize, but I don't know. I just thought I might show you guys a little bit. So let me know if you want me to continue showing you how I do things. The Echo, yeah, I was fortunate. Um, but see here, another thing too is I've started seeing people in my area. There was a guy actually found a Death Watch Trooper. Now, um, I had one sent to me, which was cool. But uh, when you go online to try to order them, they're pre-ordered, but it's till January of 2023. So, uh, all right. All right, so people ask all the time, printing a helmet, printing a full-size helmet, can it be done? Yes, it can be done. If it is in yellow, that means it fits my print bed. So, and as you can see, barely, barely fits my print bed. All right. And everywhere that there's red is where supports will be generated. So the first thing I do is I come over here and this is my settings. I know it's, I know it's small. Sorry. Um, but this is all the stuff, walls, top and bottom, infill, material, temperature, speed, boom, boom, boom. So these settings here, I normally just, you know, keep the way they are. Uh, but if you hover over them, it actually will let you know what it is. I haven't found a need to change anything in the wall section. Uh, the quality section uh, this is a standard quality, which is 0 0.2 millimeters. Uh, top and bottom thicknesses, that's pretty good where it is. Infill, so infill is the amount of infill that goes into the uh, actual print. 20% uh, is the most. Uh, I usually start at 10%. Your patterns, these are all the different patterns. Cubic is a good one to start with. Uh, gyroid's a good one, um, but we'll, we'll keep it at cubic for right now. Printing temperature, uh, depending on the, the PLA you use, uh, will dictate 
what your printing temperature is. I know based on experience of the printing or the PLA that I use that I can uh, start out at 205. My build plate, which is this, uh, it heats up. So I'll start that out at 60. Uh, print speed. Print speed is a huge thing to think about. I hardly ever print at 100 uh, millimeters a second. Uh, 50 is a good, a good rate. Uh, but typically, uh, I found 70 is a good one. Uh, enable retraction. Uh, that retracts the filament in the nozzle. Um, basically, like it says here, uh, when the mo when the nozzle's moving over a non-printed area, it sort of sucks it back up a little bit. And then Z-hop, um, I always do that as well. So the build plate is sort of lowered it. And what it does, it just creates a little bit of gap. So I check that. Cooling, uh, this is your print uh, fan on your actual printer. I don't usually mess with that. That's pretty good. Uh, generate supports. Now, this is where it gets gets crazy. Uh, okay, I guess Lex. I don't know what you're doing, but if you want to do bacon, I don't know. If you keep it up, you'll get timed out. There you go. <laughs> Booyah. Um, so this is where it's it's funny. So you always want to generate supports. These right here, everywhere. Boom. Build plate adhesion. This is what actually is going to create everything for the, the printer to, or the, the object to adhere to the printer. Skirt is just what it says. It's just a little skinny little line. Uh, you got brim. I use raft. Raft does use more filament. And as you can see, the helmet is now ye not yellow because the raft is bigger than the print. This is where a lot of people get weirded out because they're like, wait a minute, what's going on? If I go back to skirt... And I'll show you. And we'll slice it. What this is going to do is, um, no, this is actually, uh, it's this is free software from Ultimaker. It's Cura. So when we slice this thing, what this is doing is, is it's prepping the model. In other words, it's letting you see everything. And it's also going to tell you how much time, how much PLA, blah, blah, blah. I actually thought about doing a video on this, but I didn't know if anybody would be really interested in watching it. But, you know. <laughs> you guys just got stuck with it. But this is something that I needed to work on because I'm more, for some strange, and I think it's the, the PLA is the problem. All right. So. This particular print, as it is, will take nine days, 11 hours, and take 2,257 grams of PLA, which basically is two and a quarter rolls. That's a lot. So if we do preview, this will, just like what it says, it previews your model. All right, there we go. So everywhere in blue is supports. This is all supports. All right. And as you can see, this little, let me see here, this little skinny line right here, that's skirt. In other words, what it'll do, it'll go around this one time, and then it'll start doing the, the print. But what I have found is it just, I just, I'm just not a big fan of it. So if we go back to prepare and we go back up here 
and we change that to raft, we lose it because the raft is bigger. But before we do that, two thousand, I mean, two and a half, two and a quarter rolls of filament. That is literally it would cost in material. It would cost almost sixty dollars in material just to print a helmet. That's that's ridiculous. So where do you actually save? How can we save filament? So everything in red is supports, right? Everything in red. Okay, this is your tip of the day right here. So you see all this red right here? That is a massive amount of filament to support. Nolan, it's a, a Ulta Maker Cura. This is all filament that would support the helmet. Now, here's a little known fact. You don't need it. So, click on the model. Come down here to support blocker. Click that. Whoops. Then click right there. Click that. Then come over here to scale. And just do a little bit of dragging. A little bit more dragging. Back it up. All right, so everywhere where this block is, there's not going to be no filament. In other words, no supports. None. All right. Show. Come back over here. So before we were over 2,000 worth of filament. So now let's see, and we were what, nine days? So now let's take a look at it. Dun, 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 dun. This is where you watch grass. Oh, awesome, LeBron. Um, yeah, figures, figures are more for resin. Boom. Three days, 20 hours, and only 742 grams of filament. That's more manageable, right? That is so much more manageable. Because now... It's you're not you're not printing for nine days. Alright, so if we preview it, this is where you're gonna see the, the big difference. <laughs> Alright, so we still got all of this filament, these supports, the blue, which I don't understand why this is being supported right now. This is where I'm weirded out. Because I don't understand why this particular helmet has that. But, check this out. I'll give you a top-down look. So, over here on the right, you can actually go through the process. And you can actually see that there's no filament inside of it anymore. Boom. So now you're not wasting filament. See, you're not wasting it anymore. But we still have the problem is I don't want to do a skirt. So how do we fix that? Easy. Come over here to this little button there. And we're going to rotate it to there. Still yellow. Come up here, change this to raft. Still yellow. Yes. We're going to slice that, and you'll get to see what a raft is. Uh, you, as far as no, you can't because 
the way the software does, it generates where it needs support. So the software is telling you you need it here. From experience, I have found through knowledge, asking questions, you don't need it. Um, if if you want some there, you can. Um, it's entirely up to you. But every helmet that I have made, I have not used any center support. Hey, Chris. Now, the time should be the same. We're not changing anything from that perspective. But I want to show you what a raft looks like. So before you saw just a little skinny line. We're still at three days, but our hours went up. It was, I think, nine hours. Now it's 21 hours. It went up about 20-something grams in filament. So if we preview it, this is a raft right here. You can see how much this is actually a pretty substantial amount of filament if we actually take it all the way down you can actually see how much how much of this is actually so it basically it creates exactly what it says a wrap it creates a big wide layer that is nice and level then the actual filament for the product uh, which is this teal colored is the actual helmet so all of this purple looking is the raft so the helmet itself is all of this and, and then when we go back to the infield density that is this right here oh oh and if you're wondering this all of this right here this is all of the different movements that the printer actually makes so when you think about it all of these little lines is all of the moving that the printer is actually doing so it's not what you think it is to where it's like mm, i mean there's lots of x y z there's a lot of movement here um but then we ask ourselves hmm because all of this right here is support typically you want to use as least amount of support as possible so let's do this. It is a pre-base. Yes, that's a, that's a good analogy. So we're going to undo this, turn it back around. Now this little lay flat option, you can click that. And it will attempt to lay it flat. Attempt is the key word. And then I'm going to click it again just to see if it'll do anything. It's trying. No, it's not having it. So let's spin her back around. And you can't do this with every helmet. Every helmet is different. So we're going to rotate it. Then try to lay it flat. Ooh, getting there. Oh, it's thinking about it. This is ideally how you would want to do it. You would want to try to get this as close as possible. But unfortunately, with certain helmets, it just doesn't work because your build plate is just not big enough. This is ideally how I want to do it. I want to do it this way so it actually, I use less. Oh, that's cool. But as you can see, this helmet, it's overhanging here. We're right up against the edge there. We try to rotate it. I spend a lot of time trying to find the optimum way to put something on my build plate and make it work. Now, if I go back to a skirt, it still doesn't fit so there's really i mean like i said i'm i'm trying but it just 
It just won't fit. Never fear. Never fear. Okay. So we're sort of at an impasse. I can get it to fit, but there's a lot of extra PLA filament. Hmm. Get rid of that. Let's go to let's go to my right here. All right. So what I did was I actually cut the helmet in half. So this is the same helmet cut in half and flipped upside down. Ooh, what is this you're doing, Greg? What is this? Huh, interesting. Now, if you look, it is flat. It is flat on the build plate. We have our supports. Okay, okay. Let's do a little slice on this bad boy. Let's see what it comes up with. Cheat sheet. Oh, yeah. Bet y'all never figured you'd be looking at this today, did you? <laughs> Looky here. One day, 14 hours, 324 grams of filament to print that. So if we preview it. <laughs> There it is, right there. Now, if you notice, there's not near as many supports. We have the visor supports, of course. Look at this. What? Same settings, everything. Okay, so now let's move. Let's change this. And we get the dome. This is where having multiple printers is awesome. So here's the top half of the, of the helmet right here. All right. So think about it. Three days, 20 hours, boom, boom, boom. Right? The bottom half was one day, 14 hours. The dome is... I think it's about the same. One day, nine hours, 270 uh, uh, grams of filament. So if you take a model, cut it in half. If you have multiple printers, you take one half on one, one half on another. Now think about it. We had the whole helmet for one printer, three and a half days, right? Not bad. Not bad at all. Cut it in half. If you have two printers, a day in, one day in 15 hours. So you basically cut out one and a half days. Use the same amount of filament. It's just time-wise you save. Now, you will have to, to glue this back together. Put the dome on. Glue it back. But that's, that's a minor thing. That is so minor. Uh, I can still take this if I wanted to, and I could rotate it. Oh, sorry. I rotated the block. Got to click on the helmet, genius. I can, I can rotate it if I want to just to change things up. I got it all blocked. We can slice it. Boom, there you go. And then, let's look here. I'm going to preview it. So when people ask, so people ask, you know, when it comes to doing like 3D printing things and, and this and that, this is this is the kind of work you got to put into it, and it's not just as easy as um, uh, so glue. I use uh, 
I use two different kinds of glue. I use, uh, I'm actually trying a new one that I just bought. But uh, typically I'll use, um, um, oh my God. Something 6,000 or 3,000. Oh God, it comes in a silver tube. Oh my God, how did I forget that? You can get it at Hobby Lobby, Walmart. I'll use that as the base, uh, but then I'll use C, uh, super glue to create an initial bond until the other stuff cures, which takes about 24 hours. Um, but yeah, that's so, again, not trying to discourage anybody, but when it comes to printing, no, it's not epoxy. Uh, no, it's not a two part. It's, Oh my goodness, I've been using it forever. It's right there. It's in a silver tube. Get it at Walmart, get it at Hobby Lobby. It's not EVA 3. Oh, what is it called? I apologize. I apologize. Um, I've attempted to do some of my designing my own stuff. That's a whole nother level, whole nother level. Um, so for me, it's like this particular helmet here. Yes, E3, yes, right there, E3000, yes. So this particular thing here is, you know, I would rather pay to support someone that's designing things and then me be able to pass on his design through sales and my labor of everything than me to try to create something on my own at, at right now because there's a lot there's a lot goes in just to get it to work let alone trying to design it that's a whole nother beast so this is my latest uh, helmet I'm gonna try to get it started I did start it last night uh, it failed both pieces failed. I don't know why yet. I think it's because of the PLA that I was reusing. I forgot and I left it out in the open. So I think it got a little moist with humidity. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go downstairs and try again while I'm working on some stuff. But yeah, this is, I mean, I just wanted to sort of let you guys know, you know, if you get a 3D printer, and you're like, oh man, I want to, I want to, I want to print things. I want to make things. Blah blah blah. It's work. It's not something that. I mean, just this, this right here example is. I can print two of the bases together, but I can only print one of the bags because it's so big, it takes up so much space because I print it flat. I don't turn it on its edge. I print it flat because of the way I just feel like it comes out. But again, it's it's time. So, yeah, there you go. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's live stream. Uh, like I said, we got the pattern cut out for some foam. Definitely keep up uh, with that. Make sure to follow me on old, old social medias, you know, all the good stuff, all the good stuff on social media. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to go downstairs and start working because I got to get my other printer fixed and back together. So, appreciate you guys. Uh, hope you all have a great rest of the day. Hope you have a great rest of the weekend. Got some hunt videos coming up. Got some review videos coming up. So yeah, check out my Etsy store. Keep your eye on it. Like I said, hopefully by this weekend, I'll have some stuff up as a test run just to see if there's uh, interest. interest. Um, but yeah, appreciate you guys. Hope y'all have a, a good rest of the day. And we will do this again next week. But if you haven't support, hey, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that subscribe button. Turn it on. Turn it on. Check it. Check it. And as always, please remember, toys refreshes your soul. I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.